morning everybody. Today is Wednesday the 17th of June and today our learning question is can I use the conjunction but to link two ideas together. Now we have done work on but before but today we're going to have a look at it to help us with the Yeti and the bird story. So let's have a look at some examples and you might want to listen to the story again on the YouTube channel just so that you are really familiar and you can help with your ideas when we come to write the sentences. So, I've put some examples on of when we can use but. So, Viv likes fish, but Justice likes dogs. Justice likes to play soccer, but Viv likes to play hide and seek. Viv likes to play, say, her boat, but Justice likes to catch the bus. So those are just some ideas to help of how we use but. So our first job then, can you think of any examples or ideas of when you might use but? You might want to tell your adult helper. Don't forget to put but in the sentence when you're telling. So where do you think bird was supposed to have landed? Have a look at the pictures, there are some clues there. And then I want you to write down where you think bird should have landed. Now let's turn over to see if you are right. When you do write your ideas, you might want to put keywords or you might want to have a go. I think bird... And then you're going to write down your ideas. So let's see if you are right. So on your next page, you have got a word and picture bank. So we've put in pictures of where Bird actually did end up. So she ended up in a place with snow, fir trees, it was freezing, snow-capped mountains, and she was in the Himalayas. But actually, she wanted to be in Barbados with sandy beaches, palm trees, the sunshine and the hot weather. I've also helped you by putting you some of the key words that will help us to put all these things into a sentence. So let's have a look using the words about what we can do. So, you might want to cut out some of the words from your word banks to build your sentences first. Okay. I've done some examples for you. In the Himalayas, there is snow, but in Barbados, there are sandy beaches. So there's my word bank to help me with all my spellings. Now, some of you, I want you to have a go at writing the sentences all the way through from the beginning. Some of you, I've given you the sentence starter. So in the Himalayas, there are fir trees, but in Barbados, there are palm trees, full stop. And then you're going to have a go at writing your own underneath. You might have another sheet that has you cutting out the sentences and building them and then copying them straight down. Have a go and see how many you can come up with. 